All right, here's my sewing kit laid out. I like to call it a survival sewing kit. Now, in my personal opinion, like I said, a uh, survival sewing kit is multi-use to where a normal sewing kit is not. This is everything that I have inside of the Altoids can. All together, it weighs three ounces. <clears throat> it is about three and three quarters inches long, two and a quarter wide, and three quarters thick. Now it includes, what I have is a variation of different size needles, seven different types of needles, and they go from about uh, size 18, which is kind of a yarn needle there. Let's see if you can see that. But I have kind of everything in a convenient little setup here. All I did was cut out a piece of small canvas and include all the needles. Now you got a size 18 and it moves down to the smaller size needles. I've also added your bobby pins on the sides those always come in handy I also have patch material this is just a, a thin canvas patch material just in case if I need to patch up stuff um, now when it comes to thread you know a lot of people have different opinions about that what I use is I actually do have and these are on bobbins and before I think I called them buttons but these are bobbins um, off of a sewing machine they're plastic you can get steel now what I've done is I've put thread on one, which is just some green high quality thread, which I can use just for your simple usage. Now I've added a 10 pound test, which is equivalent to, in the braided fishing line, this is equivalent to a two pound test size. So it's a really, really thin, thin type braided fishing line. And I really like that because it's very, very strong. It's 10 pound test. I've also added a 30 pound test, which is spider wire. And each one of these are different. You can get that description underneath the video. This is a 30 pound test, and it's equivalent to an 8 pound test in diameter. I've also added a 50 pound test, which this one is equivalent to about a 14 pound test. And this is braided fishing line which is very very strong and I like adding this to the kit not only can you use it for fishing but you can also use it to fix your gear and it's very very strong it's not going to break like thread is going to so I highly suggest to get these bobbins and put your own type of thread or fishing line that you prefer I also added a razor knife I really like having a razor knife in my gear it works well I can uh, cut material if I need to cut thread which I've also added, and we talked about scissors earlier. You gotta get a high quality scissors. This actually comes out of a Swedish, the Swedish cards. Now, if you've ever seen little survival kits, they call it the Swedish card. It has scissors, uh, has like a toothpick, a knife, file, things like that. Well, I pulled these out because I really like them. They're super strong, they're stainless, they work really well. And they're very sharp. I like those. So I added those to my kit. I also added the tweezers out of those cards. Because I like having the tweezers. i got kind of big fingers. When it gets to doing small stuff with thread, these really come in handy. Also added the, uh, <clears throat> well, actually we got a, a needle de-threader. Or I'm sorry, a needle threader. If you've seen those, I'm sure you've seen those in most sewing kits. It's nice to thread the needles, especially with hands like mine. And then you have a seam ripper. I really like having a seam ripper just in case if I got to rip some seam out, re-sew it, things like that. It makes it very convenient. I like adding that to my kit. I have buttons in this kit, but I have buttons that are what I use. Now, when you, when you break down your kit, you don't need a whole bunch of buttons. Just see what you use as far as buttons and add a few. So I've got a few, oh, medium size, a couple small buttons that are what I use. On what I wear. Now what makes this kit a little bit different is I've added the fishing aspect to it. Now what I've used is what I have here is an actually black powder primer little container so I don't have a bunch of fishing gear rolling around inside of my sewing kit which works really good and it holds all of this fishing gear here. Now I have your BB split shot about 24 of them I also have your bullet type weights, which are really convenient. I have about six of those. Number six hooks, four of those. And what I really like is the treble hooks. 
Now these are about a size, I think 14 treble hook, which are great for small fish, and it's easier to hook them than with a regular hook. And I've also added a dick knight with a little bit of a flash there. And actually those really work good. I've used them in a lot of places. And probably this spring, I'll take this kit out and actually show you how it works. Now, like I said, I actually have fishing kits and all sorts of stuff. And if you ever find yourself in a survival situation where you actually need this stuff, you can come in handy. Now, how often are you gonna find yourself in that type of situation? Probably not that often. But to add this small piece into your sewing kit, I believe is an absolute essential. Now I've just made my sewing kit multi-use and basically a survival type sewing kit. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Central Origin Survival Network and I thank you for your subscriptions and everything you do. Oh, and I also forgot if all else fails, always revert back to what you know and what you like best, like a good old roll of duct tape. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and shoot them to me and I'll get back to you. Thank you.